Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech and today it is making its debut on the channel. Technically, I built a computer with a <clears throat> downdraft not to a Kohler probably three or four or five years ago probably if I had to guess. So this is the first appearance that Nocto is really making on the channel intentionally. And what better way to do it with the famous NHD 15. Now, Noctua a couple years ago started uh, releasing the Chromax um, attachments to basically make it look pretty cool because that was one of the complaints people had. Now, we're not working with that today. That's not going to really change performance much one way or another. We're worried about how to install this cooler, what comes in the box, and then the next video is going to be all about thermals. But let's see what comes in the box. I'll show you how to mount it both in LGA 11.5X and AM4. Okay, let's take a look at what comes included. This is going to be used in a good portion of this video, screwdriver. We have two NFA15 PWM fans with mounting. <clears throat> the first one comes attached to the cooler. The second one comes separate, which you will have to attach these mounting clips to. Pretty straightforward. Then we have an LGA11 5x backplate. We do not need a backplate for AM4. These are used as well for Intel, as well as these mounting brackets, and then these top clips. So that's all we need for Intel. AMD is even easier. We have the top clips. We have the cylinders, and we have the screws respectively. Now, let's go ahead and mount Intel first. We'll do 11.5X and then AMD AM4. This particular board is 11.55, but it'll go on the same way. We're going to lift the board. We're going to slide the bracket through. Just like that. Then we're going to take the black cylinders, which just go right over top, very simply like that. And we are going to position these hor or horizontally here. And the reason why we know that is because the mounting goes right here. <clears throat> and then we're going to take these top nuts here and what you want to do and this is just from experience with most air coolers is tighten these hand tight as far as your hands will essentially let it go and then we're going to take the included screwdriver and we're going to give it roughly anywhere from a quarter to a half turn just like that now if you haven't already remove this the center fan from the cooler and we're going to oops, don't forget your thermal paste. You're going to put roughly a little pea size. I don't want to waste the thermal paste because I'm going to be doing a lot of testing. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to start actually over here. Okay, that's on. And we're going to go this side. So it'll take a little bit of pressure. You want to lean it down into it. And then what you'll want to do is do a couple of rotations on each. There yep, there's the hard stop. And very simply, we will then attach the front fan. You'll want to be cautious of any memory you might have. Make sure it clears. And then we will do the middle fan. Perfect. 
Okay, for AM4, you're gonna have to remove the stock mounting, which a screwdriver works amazingly for. There's going to be gray cylinders, which we need for this. The white ones are for FM2, FM1, AM3, AM3+, AM2, AM2+, respectively. So what we will do is we are going to put those on, and then we're going to start hand, start with these, just maybe five or six quick rep, rep revolutions there. And then we can take this tool, which Noctua provided. This one, I will give an extra turn. Extra turn. Extra turn. Just like that. For demonstration purposes, no thermal paste is applied, but you would normally put a pea size amount there roughly. Okay, so that is on. Some advice. The one that's further away from you, start on first. It seem, seems to be a little bit easier for me to do that. And then what you'll do is you'll put a little bit of pressure just to get this to line up. You'll make a few revolutions there. And you'll just go back and forth again until we hit the point where the spring hits the bottom and we're fully tight. And then Fan installation, very simple. We're going to start with this side. Pull that. So we'll want to make sure that these are done roughly at the same height. And actually I'm going to latch this one a little bit tighter, which you can do. Perfect. I'm actually going to spin this around. Yeah. There we go. Yep. So now these are on. Good. And then just to, sh just to show this, just so you know, you do get two low noise adapters if you did want to run at lower RPM. For this purpose, we're going to use actually the splitter that comes with it because we want it to run at the rated speed. Done. So, thank you all for tuning in. This is Noctua's debut on the Big Head Tech channel. So I want to thank them personally. And my experience with Noctua is interesting, so let me explain. First, I emailed them and I couldn't find the partner page, whatever have you. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. And they forwarded me off to the right people. They actually had a chuckle about that. Some good, good people over there. And I got in contact with Joe by the name of Jacob, and he explained to me how the partner program works regarding, you know, getting review samples, their process, and everything. And they said um, usually it can take up to about four weeks. And I said, well, here's the thing: I really need this a bit sooner, two weeks max. And it's because I have other samples coming in I want to review. And he said, well, I can't guarantee anything except the four weeks because international shipping customs can take longer. Normally, it's less than two weeks. I said, well. That's honest. I appreciate it. Let's do it. If it doesn't work out, I'll make it up to you guys, do an independent overview or independent review if I have to. So they shipped it out on like Tuesday. I think I got the notification Wednesday and I got it the following Monday for business days. So that was really fast. Uh, very good communication by him and his team. They were very thorough on how things work with them. Uh, they're very clear as well that um, by no means can you praise their product unless you unless it really warrants it so if it performs really well you can talk about it but they really want you to be honest i really like that about noctua so really excited to actually see if this is indeed the best cooler under 200 under 100 dollars rather i don't know that answer i won't know the answer for about a week and a half roughly when i test finish testing them all i'm pretty confident though with some of the early testing i've done with some of the products i have this is probably gonna do very well 
So big shout out to Noctua. Thank you guys very much for working with me. Uh, if you liked the video, like it, dislike it, dislike button, leave a comment, get subscribed, buy this because while I can't say it's the best cooler in $100 yet, I know it's a fantastic cooler. People love it and it's going to perform very well. So I'm going to recommend buying it anyway. Uh, just make sure you have enough clearance. I think it needs like 165 millimeter clearance depending on the fan height. Uh, but as always, Steve from Big Head Tech and I'll see you all later on down the road.